y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Today we are fixing Easy Pumpkin Donuts and we're doing something a little bit differently because I have never made this recipe before. So today on video is going to be the first time I've ever fixed it and we're going to see together how it turns out. It is officially fall now, even though it is still 900 degrees here in the Carolinas, but we are just going to be thankful and keep it pushing. So let's see how this recipe turns out. The first thing we're going to do is add a yellow cake mix to our bowl. We're going to cut the oven on to 400 degrees and I'm also going to melt some butter. To our cake mix, we are going to add 15 ounces of pureed pumpkin. Next, we're adding pumpkin pie spice vanilla, and of course we have to have cinnamon in here. So according to the recipe that I found, this is all the ingredients. We're going to just whip this up together and see how it turns out. All right, well it looks like a very good consistency, so I'm liking that. It smells wonderful. Make sure y'all check out my video for baked carrot cake donuts. They are so delicious and super easy. Definitely make sure you check that out. Now we're going to take our donut pan and of course we're going to spray it. All right, and then rumor has it that the easiest way to fill up these uh, donut pans is to take a cake decorating bag and fill, put the batter in there. And I'm actually going to just put this bag down over a cup while I fill it up. I think that's going to be the easiest way to not make a mess. Obviously, if y'all don't have cake decorating bags, no big deal. Just spoon it into the pan with a spoon. Not a problem. I actually put too much batter in there, but it's all gonna be okay. Definitely not the end of the world. We cut off the bottom of this. So now, we are just going to pipe that in. So my little uh, motivation for today is I want y'all to really think about it when something goes wrong today. Let's say you drop something and it spills and you get so mad. I want you to stop for two seconds and think, is this really a big deal? I mean, all I have to do is clean it up. No one's been hurt. My family's safe. Everything's good. I'm safe. I'm healthy. You know what? It's really not a big deal. I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm going to be careful of my reaction. I'm in control of my reaction. And you know what? I'm just going to clean it up and I'm going to move on. Let's not make things a bigger deal than they really are, okay? Because there's a lot of big deals in the world. There's a lot of bad things in the world. And something like spilling your coffee or spilling milk or a kid making a mess, really not a big deal. So be careful of your reactions. Let's think before we react, okay? All right, now, enough of that. Let's go ahead and put these in the oven for five to seven minutes. Once those come out of the oven, we have just a few more steps. Very, very simple, and we're done. Super easy. All right, folks, these little beauties are ready to come out of the oven. Oh, <laughs> so proud of my creations. We are going to pop these down on this foil, let them cool. All right, I'll let those cool just long enough to where I can touch them. Now we are going to take them and dip them very, very quickly into a little bit of butter. Just pop them in that. Pop them in the cinnamon and sugar. Perfection. Perfection. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what. This is just the easiest thing. Now we just have to see how they taste. And y'all remember the exact measurements and ingredients are going to be listed below. And also in the comments, let me know what your favorite fall dessert is. Is it pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll, pumpkin donuts? Nothing to do with pumpkin? Let me know. And then this one here, we put in some confectioner sugar. You could also make a very, very easy cream cheese frosting with some cream cheese, just a little bit of confectioner sugar and vanilla. That would be delicious on these as well, but I'm trying to keep these super, super simple for you. So we're not even worrying with the cream, tree, cream cheese frosting tonight. Beautiful. Also, make sure y'all check out my Instagram page, The Retro Apron. You're always gonna find all of my recipes over there as well. 
along with some nice pictures of everything we create on here. So go on over there and follow me on Instagram as well. So the hardest decision right now is deciding if I want to try the first one with just the powdered sugar or the cinnamon and sugar. But let's go with the cinnamon and sugar. I've been waiting all day for this moment. There are no words. No words. Y'all saw how easy that was. No words to describe this deliciousness right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Absolute perfection. Y'all have to try this and make sure you let me know if you like it or not. I think it's one of the best things I've ever tasted. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.